Addy to Lily, you ready to watch Dad's Talk Tech? Over. Well, I was until I noticed this episode has a viewer discretion warning. Over. Wait, what? Over. It says some content could be too intense or scary for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Over. I wonder what is happening. Uh-oh. I'll be right there. <laughs> oh, hey, you guys are back. Yeah, we're finally back. By the way, that was horrible. Yeah, that was the worst. By the way, we are never going back there again. Okay, well, sorry about that, guys. You know, I guess I must have just got mad and said that I wish you guys would Stop. just... Stop. Don't even think about saying those words again okay 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 you know that's that's actually a good point we don't exactly know how all this disappearing stuff happened right so i guess i better not risk saying that again and accidentally sending you guys back right so anyway but where did you guys go i mean i've been calling you i've been looking for you guys everywhere. we don't really know it was really dark and really scary yeah, I, I think you must have opened a portal or something. Portal! You know, that actually is a great segue into today's topic. Wait, what? How? Well, today we are going to review the Facebook Portal TV device. Oh man, that reminds me. Bruce is probably waiting on the other side here to open up the show. We better get to it. Yeah, I was waiting for you, Keith. Oh, I see those guys are back. Probably a story behind that. You're going to have to tell me about that one later. For now, why don't we go ahead and jump in? So as Keith said, we're going to be reviewing this cool new Facebook Portal TV device. This is just one product in a family of smart displays that are geared towards communication between families and friends. And luckily for me, Keith got one for each of us for Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Now, I know what everybody's thinking which is that surely Facebook must have sent us this hardware free for our review. But alas, no, they did not, as apparently Facebook's go-to-market strategy is not really depending on independent content creators of our particular scope and scale. That's shocking. Well, you know, Facebook's never really been known for developing hardware. Facebook's best known for developing, well, Facebook. So. When Facebook launched this second generation of Portal TV devices, their go-to-market strategy kicked off with a national ad campaign that you may recognize. As you see this play, I'm sure you might remember some of these ads. Many of them highlight the main use cases they were targeting for this product, such as out-of-state grandmas talking to the grandkids or traveling moms talking to their kids back home. You know, things like that. Yeah, there were a bunch of those commercials. In fact, uh... The one that we just saw was kind of a whole bunch of those commercials all in a montage sort of stitched together. But I, I really like those commercials. But Facebook did not rely upon that, right? They didn't stop there. Didn't they also have a few commercials with J-Lo and Kim Kardashian? Yes, Keith. Sadly, they did. Not that they needed the exposure or anything, but let's refresh our memories just a little bit. Hey, Kim, how's the holiday party planning going? Uh. I am so stressed. Sometimes I just need to light some candles. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, Keith, I, I think this is a little bit more in line with the uh, scope and scale that Facebook was looking at their uh, marketing campaign. Yeah, I, I think you're right about that. 
Uh, and actually, those two did quite a few more ads besides just that one. And, you know, despite their uh, elite acting skills that they put on display there, they really did do a good job, I think, at highlighting some different use cases, some slightly different use cases than what we saw before. Uh, in these situations, they were kind of highlighting friends interacting with each other uh, for more kind of daily activities as opposed to, uh, you know, the family situations that we saw before. Yep. And surprisingly, this wasn't even enough star power for Facebook. They thought they needed even more. So they pulled out the really big guns. No, 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 no. Don't say it. Yes. Bring on the Muppets. Oh, you got my gift. Yeah, okay, thanks. now we're talking. I love it. Did you get my gift? Oh, yeah. I'm assuming at this point the general public really doesn't have a whole lot of choice but to go out and buy millions of these devices. Now, I know Keith absolutely loves the Muppets. So, I have to ask. Keith, is this what prompted you to go out and get the Facebook Portal TV devices? I'm not saying it wasn't the reason. It's a reason. Yeah, I, I really did buy these, you know, for our channel. Um, you know, it's no surprise, Bruce and I are still pretty new to this YouTube thing. And one of the challenges that we have compared to most channels, I would say, is that we really do film in two different locations, right? So whenever we have situations where there's back and forth dialogue of any kind, Bruce is recording his lines and I'm recording my lines completely separately and we have to stitch them together in post-production. So that type of situation uh, adds a lot of extra prep in terms of script writing and rehearsal to make it seem somewhat natural. So, you know, that's, that's part of the challenge that we have. And I know if, if we were just together filming this face-to-face, -face, uh, we could probably knock out an entire episode in, a, in about an hour, right? In fact, I know that's the case because that's exactly what we did back in episode eight. So I was really looking for solutions to that. Right. And uh, the idea would be to find a way for us to film simultaneously from our you know, respective locations. And once I started doing that, I, I found a lot of uh, teleconferencing or, or video conferencing solutions that were, you know, corporate type solutions. Most of them that involved hardware and subscription plans. And a lot of these things get up into the five figures very quickly, easily. Um, so that's a bit of a challenge for us, right? We, we don't have the, frankly, the money or the equipment of a, of a small television studio. So bottom line, I don't really know if it was one of those commercials that gave me the epiphany to, uh, to try this thing as a, I don't know what you would call it, a, a cheap multi-site YouTube channel production hack tool. Uh, you know, none of the TV ads were really specifically about that. Were they, Bruce? Oh. Sorry, Keith, I spaced off a little bit there. I think I got sucked into a Muppet hole. This stuff is great. By the way, have you seen this one? On Portal TV, the screen is so big, I can see all your facial expressions. So you see disappointment and apathy? Looks more like indigestion and wrinkles. Oh. <laughs> hey, Keith, You're not are wrong. you okay? <laughs> huh. Wow. You know, believe it or not, that actually hits pretty close to home. In fact, that's pretty close to the exact use case I was thinking about for us. You want to try it, don't you? This is happening. <sighs> okay, fine. On Portal TV, the screen is so big, I can see all of your facial expressions. So you see disappointment and apathy? Looks more like indigestion and wrinkles. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> you're not wrong. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Portal <laughs> from Facebook. Hey, how's it going, guys? By the way, thank you very much for helping us out with the portal episode. I appreciate that. Yeah, sure thing. I'm just glad to get out of the portal. You know, no promises, but maybe we can work you three guys into, uh, you know, future episodes of Dad's Talk Tech. You know... From what I can see here, this show actually isn't half bad. Oh, uh, thanks. I think. Hey, uh, what's that going on there with that floaty projection screen thing? What's that all about? Oh, well, you know, we was, uh, chatting with Lily on the Facebook portal, you know, and what can I say? She hooked us up. Oh, okay, okay. Looks like I might have to have a, a chat of my own with Lily here 
and uh, see what that's all about. Hey, and you, uh, what's going on with the laptop? What do you got going on here? Oh, uh, I, I'm just emailing Dominic at Modern Yellow, you know, for the three of us. You know, from what I've seen so far on Dad's Talk Tech, if we're on it, we're clearly going to be the stars. So, you know, we're going to need a good website for our fans. Ooh, geez. Starting to remember why I wish you guys would disappear. Wait, what was that, Keith? Oh, what did you say? Uh, I was just saying, you know, how happy and grateful I am that the three of you are here. Yeah, that's what I said. Wow, shoot, look at the time. Hey, uh, I think we better start getting to close this episode out. Hey, you know, Jen asked me to bring these up to the studio when I went down for some extra drinks. What are these things anyway? Oh, oh uh, you know, I, I wouldn't bother trying those at all. Those aren't any good. I would just ignore them. These things are amazing. Again, what are these and why have you been hiding ah, them from us? Those are chicks and sticks. Those are the official snack of Dad's Talk Tack. We, oui. your official snack has the word chicks in it? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> uh. Hey, you need to try these things before you make fun of them. Wow. You're right. These are good. No wonder he's been hiding them from us. He probably thinks we're going to eat all of them. <laughs> ah, like we would do that. Come to think of it. Oh, this is good here. How much, ha that. how much you got in that bowl? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, great. Looks like I'm going to have to double oh, or triple so my regular shipment of chicks and sticks just to feed your guys' ongoing habit now. Well, Bruce, I think you better uh, close us out and take us away from here. I got some stuff to deal with, uh, clearly. Okay, Keith, will do. And good luck up there. So, some final thoughts before we close out this episode. So, the Facebook Portal TV did pretty much what you'd expect it to do. It was fairly easy to connect to a TV, get the Messenger app running, which is what we used. You can also use the What's app if you choose to do that. As well, you can add video effects, which we didn't play with a lot, but I found it just a little bit confusing, maybe navigating back and forth into the effects, you know, rabbit ears and those types of things if you wanted to play with that. Uh, certainly had the capability of doing so. There's just some times where it was easy to get out of the main uh, messenger application and get yourself into maybe a little bit of trouble, but I'm sure with some practice, that's probably not a huge deal. But for its primary marketing target, right? So families that want to connect, friends that want to connect, share an experience, it worked pretty well. The camera follows you if you walk around. Um, if you move deeper into the scene, it's actually going to zoom in. I did notice at times when Keith was walking in the studio uh, and going deeper into it that the digital zoom um, really started to degrade pretty quickly. But, you know, if you look at the price point on this and uh, who it's intended for, that's probably not a huge deal, right? So all in all, I'd say um, we can utilize this in our workflow. Maybe not the original uh, way that Keith had intended, but we're going to keep working with this uh, tool and see how we can leverage it. Um, but for a family, friends that just want to connect and sh have a shared video experience, uh, probably a pretty, pretty decent tool for doing so. Simple to use. You call each other with the Messenger app, and it's as simple as that. Well, with that, I really want to close things out and thank everyone for joining us for what would probably be described as one of our stranger things we've done. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this episode. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and mash that bell down so that you get notified whenever we release new content. And finally, I want to thank everyone for joining us on behalf of Lily and Addie, Bruce, Keith, 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 and Keith. And you'll see at least some of us in the next episode.